Hi again everybody. Welcome back. I think we're up to week five now. Five weeks of Christmas countdown. Um, we're almost halfway there. Today I'm going to show you a gift wrapping idea using these really cute decorative window gift boxes. They are food safe and so you can put, it's like perfect for a cookie or some kind of dessert or something or maybe some handmade cards as well it would be nice so they are in the holiday catalog and they are six they're four ninety six for four ninety five you get six of them for four ninety five so that makes them less than a dollar which is really nice I dressed it up a little bit with some of the season of style DSP the one that looks like a candy cane I think this is my favorite bit of the whole set and this piece is two inches by let's see five and a half all right now what I'm going to use to add some texture is our distressing tool and I'm going to run it down the edges like this it's going to give it kind of a, a more you know vintage feel well look at that I just made the point come off which is probably not what you want to do, so let's fix that. So I'm going to make that one a little bit shorter and that one a little bit shorter. All right, there, that's fine. See, there's always a way to fix it. All right, so I'm going to run this down the edges like this. Now I'm going to add it to my box just with some regular old snail. Okay, I'm going to put it right there. And the stamp that I'm using today is Season's Greeting from Joy to the World. And I'm going to emboss it. I used the label framelit to cut out a black, basic black cardstock piece. And when you emboss, there's this thing called the embossing buddy. And I like to use it when I'm using, trying to go for this chalkboard effect because it really kind of adds that chalkboardy, you know, the chalk feel on the black. So I do that, and then I'm going to stamp it in Versamark. Look how dirty my Versamark pad is, but that's okay. It still works. All right, I'm going to do this. Now, normally I would recommend that you stamp first and cut it out second, but just for sake of the video, that's how I did it. Now I'm going to take some Whisper White embossing powder and sprinkle it, and I'm not using my little powder tray, but... Sometimes we do things messy and they still work out. So I get all that stray embossing powder off. So I would heat it with my heat gun and when it's done, it would look like this. Okay, it's finished off, it's not gonna smear. Now I'm gonna take some Whisper White Craft Ink and you could use a dauber, but sometimes I'm just wanting to get things done quickly, so I'm just gonna take it and run it along the edges same kind of effect, that little chalkboard edge feel. Okay, now I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to add some dimensionals to this, like this, right here, to give it a little dimension right there in the middle. Now, what I did here is took I took a piece of our burlap ribbon and I snipped the ends. It's about three inches. I snipped here just like we do did down here and it is corner to corner. Then I pinched it together and I used hot glue and I glued it down on top of that that sign. Now when I made this I accidentally used a button that's retired so what I would do instead is use these. They're the same size and they're called the Naturals Designer Buttons and they'll do just fine. So you glue that on there. Hot glue again, I just hot glued everything so that it'll all stay together. Then you're gonna take some cherry cobbler twine and I doubled it twice so you're gonna actually have four strands like that and I made my bow and well that wasn't very good it's better to start off with extra when you're doing this let's try that again double it and doubled it again and we're gonna make us this cute little twine bow pull it through trim off the edges just like that and I hot glued it right there and there you have it a dressed up little box it was cute by itself but now it's even cuter alrighty thanks for joining me again and I will see you next week bye bye